Hey, I'm Joe from Train Zombie. I've just got the LG V10 smartphone. It's an Android phone, but the reason I got it was because of the camera. Now, I just converted from iPhone to Android. Still got a little bit of a learning curve. Not sure if I, I'm, I'm really sold on Android yet, but I'm liking it more and more. But the reason I got the phone was because of the camera. The camera has a 1.8 aperture with lots of manual control in video. And it's pretty much lived up to the hype so far. But the problem I've had, there is this advertisement that one of the things that sold me, now I'm not going to say this is the only thing that sold me, but this is one of the things that sold me, is that you could use a Bluetooth microphone as a wireless microphone to capture audio while you're recording your video. That sounded like a great feature to me. And I wanted that because I could think of all kinds of times that would be so handy not to have to set up any kind of wireless mic or different audio capturing and resync and post. So just to have a little Bluetooth headset uh, or any kind of little Bluetooth things that you wear around your neck. And we could capture audio from the referees at a, at a basketball game. We could capture audio from one of our players as we're recording and playing my kid uh, as, as they're playing. We could capture what they're saying in, in, the, in the video. So I thought that would be great. But the problem is it doesn't work. They've even made a video where they show a skateboarder skateboarding and he's wearing a Bluetooth uh, around his neck. They're capturing the audio there and they say that uh, he doesn't know it, but we're capturing this audio through the Bluetooth. It's one of the features of the LG V10, but you, you can't do it. I've looked online and no one else has been able to figure it out that I've seen. I can't figure it out. Um, I've looked underneath the video, the comments underneath the video. I've checked Reddit. I've uh, done some Google searches. I can't find a way to make it work, and it won't work with mine. So I've come up with a workaround for you, and it's cheap if you already have a wireless microphone. Maybe not so cheap if you don't. You can get some cheap wireless microphones, but you usually get what you pay for. I got somewhere pretty cheap, but not dead last cheap. What I got was I got the Sony WCS-999. I picked it up for around 70 bucks on eBay. Honestly, you could do better. I didn't do as good as I could have. Now, I'm gonna show you a better close up. But this is what I'm using to get to my external microphone from my, from my LG V10. Now, this turns out it works on cell phones of just about any kind. It works on my iPhone. It works on every Android that I've tried it on. You search eBay for TRRS microphone adapter, and you can get them for about two bucks. I've seen them on there for as much as seven or eight dollars, but you can get one for about two bucks, and this one works really great. And I'm going to show you just in a second how it works, and it works just fine. You plug this into your phone, where your headphone jack is. You plug in to the microphone side. What it does on here, it has a microphone and an earphone jack listed right there. Plug this into the microphone, and now you've got your wireless. It sets work with your phone when it's locked. Okay. Now you've got your wireless microphone hooked into your LG smartphone, the LG V10. So I'm going to show you how this works right now. I'm going to switch over and I want to use this mic. Right now I'm using a DSLR with a lavalier mic, uh, Magic Lantern installed. It's a Canon T3i. Yeah, it's the 3i. I've got the 2i, but I'm using the 3i right now so I can see myself. All right. So now I'm using the wireless mic on the LG V10. I just clipped a little lavalier on here. The other time I got a little fancy ran it underneath my shirt. But what I do like about this is that there's audio meters on the screen. So I can get my audio right. I have a volume control and I can manually switch between the camera's microphones and my input microphone. I like that. That's pretty handy. It's uh, for a smartphone to have that is, is pretty handy. Not quite DSLR with Magic Lantern installed. Handy. There's a lot more controls there, but better than my DSLR, my T3i came from the factory. So they've actually stepped up the, the factory software above the DSLR, and especially when it comes to control and audio. Uh, they say there's three microphones on, the, on this phone. Testing the phone, uh, I can only find two. And they also say that the microphones, one are in the front, and one is in the front, and one is in the back, and you can control the directivity of it. Not necessarily true. They're on either end of the phone, the top and the bottom. So not necessarily the truth about the directive, directivity of the microphones. Anyway, so this is the wireless microphone, and I'm hoping that the audio is, is pretty good and clear. The range on this little Sony is not great, but for this situation, you know, I can have a wireless, I can move it around. Hopefully in the future, they're going to come up with a hardware or a software solution 
uh, maybe a certain Bluetooth headset we have to buy. I hope not. I hope it's a software solution where simply we, you know, the, an update comes and now we can use this. One of the other features I'd like to see back is in the LG G4. They have multiple image caption, capturing at the same time. So your front facing and your rear facing camera can capture at the same time. So you could capture your responses at the same time you're watching whatever it is. You know, say, go back to the kids' ball game. Uh, have a picture of a video of how dad's responding to his, his kid slam dunking the ball. You know, there's something like that. Or, or something as simple as uh, um, unboxings or, or YouTube videos where you're talking to the audience like I'm talking to you. And you want to see my face and see what I'm doing. I don't know why you'd want to see my face, but if you did, it would be nice that you could. So anyway, let me know what you think. Um, if you found a better workaround than this, it's great. I'd love to see it because I really want to be able to capture this audio with Bluetooth. I think there's a few apps that you can install and tweak, and one app does something to the other app. I'm not sure I really want to do that yet. I want to give them a little time to come up with a solution to do this natively in the camera before I go monkeying around a little too much. And I definitely don't want to, to, to get root access just yet. I'm not that comfortable with Android. I did jailbreak my iPhone once. It went well for a long time, but then it didn't, and I bricked my iPhone 4. Long story short. Anyway, I'm going to do a lot of videos with this LG V10, so if you're wanting to get this camera, subscribe, check them out. I'm going to do some very detailed, and I'm going to make sure I do some things that haven't been done already. I'm going to do some extensive mic testing. I'm going to do some extensive camera testing. And I'm going to see if there's some third-party apps that will make the phone you have already have the control that this LG V10 has. So maybe you don't need to spend the extra money. So anyway, check it out. Thank you.